What's even better than selling Instagram templates? Selling highlights. So what even are highlights? Well, they look like this on Instagram. They are essentially a filing system for Instagram stories. Basically, you post a story on Instagram and so it doesn't disappear, you save it to your highlights. By default, highlights look a little bit boring. However, you can customize them completely with any photo or graphic. And that's why a lot of businesses love them as a way of adding a little bit of extra branding to their own Instagram. Now, digital product sellers in the business niche usually jump on Instagram templates whenever they're doing sort of something related to social media. And I mean, I can understand why. When you look at the sales volume, they are one of the most popular products in the business niche. However, they totally overlook the opportunity of selling highlights as a product. Not only do they make a fantastic upsell to Instagram templates, highlights actually have a way better competition to sales ratio, as you can see here in Insight Factory. So in this episode of Design, with me. Join me as we jump into highlights. I'm going to show you the A to Z process of how to create them, how to create all of the beautiful graphics, and then how to turn them into a sellable product. All right. So the first thing I want to do is go over to ChatGPT and I really want to plan out my product. So I have sort of an idea that I want to create some beautiful seasonal Christmas themed highlights. So I'm going to go over to ChatGPT and I'm just going to sort of map it out. So my prompt is I'm wanting to create a pack of Christmas themed Instagram highlights. I would love a mix of graphics and words. Can you please give me 50 ideas, 25 for each style. Beautiful. So I'm going to grab these ideas out. I'm just going to put them into a blank word document. Now I want to have a pack of around 20 different highlights. So I want to go through, I'm going to highlight what I'm going to create. Beautiful. So I've gone through and I've ended up with a little bit more than 20. I couldn't help myself. But the reason I've done that is because whenever you have Instagram highlights, they're usually featured as a set. So I want to give that end user the option to say have five stockings all lined up on their Instagram or, for example, five different wreaths all in a row. Awesome. So now we have our pack mapped out. Now I'm going to head over to Canva and I'm going to sort of set up our document to start creating. Beautiful. So here I am in Canva and I'm going to go create a new design. You can type in highlights and it will sort of pull up the sizes for you, which is awesome. Or you can go to custom size and you can make sure it's set to pixels and type in 1080 by 1920 pixels. And that's going to give you a beautiful portrait base. As you can see, mine is blank. Now I'm going to go back to my notes here from ChatGPT and I'm going to copy and paste them into my blank document. You can see here I've split my screen into two. My screen's quite big, so it's just going to make it easier for me to sort of go across and put my notes in. Awesome. So you can see with all of my ideas, I've ended up with 31 different highlights. Now we've got our document ready to go. I am so excited to jump in and start designing. I'm actually going to be using an AI tool today called Mid Journey, and I'm going to be using it to create all of my graphics. Now, if you don't want to go through the step of creating your own graphics in a program like this, there are thousands and thousands of really high quality clip art packs on Etsy that you can purchase to make products with. But for the purpose of the tutorial today, I do want to take you through the full process. Awesome. So I'm going to start by generating my Christmas tree. So my prompt is watercolor Christmas tree, neutral, isolated on white background. I've set the aspect ratio to two, three, and I'm requesting it repeats 10 times. Beautiful. So there's lots of lovely options here. I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to hit upscale. I'm actually going to zoom out of this one as well, because you can see it goes a little bit edge to edge. Beautiful. Now I'm just going to copy and paste this straight into Canva because highlights aren't being printed. We don't really need to upscale them. They're going to be high enough resolution, which is perfect. Now I'm going to hit background remover on this one. This is a pro feature in Canva. I'm just going to scale it up a little bit. Now, if I was to put it in a circle here, this is sort of what's going to be visible for the highlight. So I'm just going to make sure that this is sort of fitted nicely in there. I'm actually going to put this circle on every page. You can see on my keyboard, I've selected it. I'm going to hit Control C and then I'm just clicking the icon for the page. Control V to paste it across. Beautiful. And as I go, I'm just going to delete the circle off so I know it's complete. Now I'm going to go through the same process for the rest of the highlights.
beautiful so you can see I've made all of my highlights ready to go now the final thing that I'm going to do before I get these downloaded is I'm going to actually add in some different background colors so I like to pick around three for a pack of highlights and that just makes it feel a little bit more complete and a little bit more designer if that makes sense so I'm going to go through I'm going to pick out a couple of colors from the images that I've used so I'm going to go with a very pale sage green um, I'm going to go with a cream for sure, like a very pale gold. Got that, that, and we might keep white as well. So just every third one, I'm going to make that sage green color. And then the same for the cream as well. Beautiful. And you can see now we've got this beautiful mix of all the different colors and it just feels a little bit more complete. Now, as the downloadable, you either need to provide these as JPEGs or PNGs. So you want to go up to share. You want to hit download. I'm going to select JPEGs. Make sure you bump that quality right up so it doesn't compress it. You just want to hit download. And this is the file that you will actually be selling. So if you're uploading this to Etsy, you want to upload these JPEGs into your download section. Now, in terms of highlights that I've sold myself, I find that I get better results whenever I make my products more specific. So my suggestion, if you are going out, you're gonna create a pack of beautiful highlights to sell, try and make it specifically for an industry, or maybe you wanna make seasonal ones like I did today. Try to really dial it in and have a purpose behind your highlights as a product. Now, if you enjoyed this episode of Design With Me, I will put another episode right here. Otherwise, if you love Etsy, digital products, graphic design, and everything in between, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos all the time. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. Have a lovely week and I will see you guys soon. Bye for now.